Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about controlling an alarm. So let's look at the example first. Example 19. An alarm is on when switch 1 is off, switch 2 is on or switch 3 is on or both are on. Then switch 4 and switch 5 are both on and one or more of switches 6, 7 or 8 are on. So that means we will use a normally closed contact for switch 1 as switch 1 should be off to turn on the alarm. And all the other switches switch 2 to switch 8 we will use them as normally open contacts. So, switch 2 and switch 3 will be connected in parallel with each other. In this way, we will implement OR logic gate. And then, switch 4 and switch 5 will be connected in series. So, in this way, we are implementing AND logic gate. And then, switch 6, 7 and 8 will be connected in parallel with each other. So, in this way, we are implementing OR logic gate. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw the ladder diagram for this example. So this is the overview. This is the interface of TI portal. I will click here to expand this, these options and I will go to PLC tags and default tag table. And then here we need to add inputs. Let's say the first one is switch one and there are eight switches. So instead of writing switch 2, switch 3, switch 4, I will simply click here and drag it to here. So all the 8 switches are fetched automatically. So I will delete this and it will be output that is alarm. So I will change its address as Q0.0. So it is an output, so the address of alarm will start with Q, that is Q 0.0. .0. After that, I will minimize this and then I will go to program blocks and main OB1. So here we will draw the ladder diagram. So firstly, for switch 1, we will use a normally closed contact. So I will insert a normally closed contact for A. And then I will use a normally open contact for switch 2. And then here I will open the branch. We have to implement all logic gate for switch 2 and switch 3. And then I will close a branch. And then I will insert one more normally open contact for switch 4. And then for switch 5. And then for switch 6. And we have to implement one more all logic gate. So I will insert a I will open the branch, normally open contact for switch 7, open the branch and one more normally open contact for switch 8. And then I will close a branch here. And also here I will close a branch. And then here I will insert a coil. So this will be switch 1, then there will be switch 2, and then it will be switch 3, and then it will be switch 4, and then there will be switch 5, and it will be switch 6, and then it will be switch 7, and then it will be switch 8. And then it will be output that is alarm. So switch 1 is used as normally closed contact because alarm will be on when switch 1 is off. And then either switch 1 or switch 3 should be on. Either switch 2 or switch 3 should be on or if both are on. And then switch 4 and switch 5 both should be on. And then there is a choice either switch 6, switch 7 or switch 8 at least one of these inputs should be on. Then only the output alarm will be on. 
So I will start the simulation and let's wait for some time. Load and then finish. After that, I will start the CPU. So after starting the CPU, it will turn to green and then I will start monitoring. And after that, I will switch to project view. I will create a new project here. I will create it. After that, we will go to simulation tables and then default simulation table one. And after that, I will right click here and then load project tags. So all these tags are being loaded here and then switch one, switch one should be off. The switch one should be off and also Either switch 2 should be on or switch 3 should be on. Let's turn on only switch 2 and then switch 4 and switch 5 both should be on. And then either switch 6 should be on, output Y will be on. And then if, uh, if I turn off switch 6 and turn on switch 7, alarm will be on. Or instead of switch 7, I will turn on switch 8, alarm will be on. And instead of switch 2, I will turn on switch 3, alarm will be on and if I turn on switch 2 and switch 3 both, alarm will still remain on. And then if I turn on switch 6 and switch 7 both, alarm will st be still on but if I turn on switch 1, alarm will turn off. So switch 1 should be off, either switch 2 or switch 3 should be on and switch 4 and switch 5 both should be on or one of the switch 6, switch 7, switch 8 should be on. Then only alarm will be on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.